CMG was the vision of Professor Khalid Aziz in 1977, who was professor of chemical engineering at University of Calgary. And he saw a lack of simulation technology uh, for oil sands in Alberta, and he decided to form a group, research group, to tackle the problem. So the proposal was to set up an institute to initiate research for these complex processes for the recovery of oil from, especially from tar sands and heavy oil reservoirs. So that was the objective. The early adopters were companies engaged in early stage cyclic steam experiments in Canada. Husky, Suncor and Canna Shell come to mind. Then internationally, companies such as Petavesa, BP, Petrobras, and Chevron began to take interest. We were viewed as the most technically advanced software for thermal applications in the world. In the old days, things were quite informal. We had a working group of some individuals from companies such as Chevron and others who took interest in our code, and we essentially gave them uh, a version of our simulator on a tape, and they were expected to compile it and run it. So we would have meetings a couple of times a year and there would be requests for features and we would attempt to do things. We would go and visit the customers to see what they really needed, not what they asked for. Because very often what a client needs, they would think of it in terms of what they knew. But we were coming from a different perspective. But we would know the other things that are going on in industry and in our software so we could actually quite often suggest extra things or additional things that they weren't maybe not aware of and that would help the whole process along. So we were actually acting as advisors. In the early 90s the idea of creating a, a shrink-wrapped uh, simulation software suite was developed and this would allow people without a great deal of expertise uh, in simulation software, but, a, but expertise in reservoir engineering to use simulation software. So we went public to commercialize our efforts and to be recognized as a competitive supplier in the reservoir simulation space. Currently we have uh, offices in seven locations worldwide. Uh, we also work with a number of agents in different countries from Oman, China, Russia, Mexico, and a number of other countries. What this allows us is to uh, build our presence internationally. It allows us to provide customer support locally in local languages and also to have that face-to-face -face interaction with uh, uh, customers regionally. Most excited. I guess the laying of the foundation to see it go to the next level, the next generation. Uh, we brought together the right people to allow it to uh, prosper, to grow, uh, to keep the culture that we have started with and uh, succeed into the future. Um, I think the really exciting thing is, is what can be done with, with the technology and where it's headed. And so the stakes are really high, but I think that we have a, a, an amazing part to play in, in, in helping people to succeed in, in today's environment and, and that the, the capabilities that we add every year um, just it's mind-blowing compared to what what we, people used to be able to do how they thought about simulation what we're going to do in the future um, I think it's a it's a, a really interesting place to be